Almost every car guy enjoys a good shift. In fact, the feeling of shifting and the satisfaction it brings are the only things keeping the manual transmission alive. And production costs, I guess. And it is even more important in a car that you spend the most of your time in, your daily. As far as my situation goes, the shifter in my car, like any other production car, has pretty long throws, which is a bummer, but not the end of the world. The main thing that bothers me is the amount of play in it, which also makes it really hard to get it into first most of the time. There is a bushing in there that needs to be replaced, and since I'll be doing that, I might as well install a short shifter. First. I needed to get to the shifter. Luckily, Doris is built super simple, so removing the center console was a piece of cake. When I got access to the shifter itself, I had to unclip the shifter cables and undo the bolts holding it in the car. Next step was taking it all apart. Here you can see the source of the problem. That bolt bushing is what got worn down and consequently caused the play in the shifter. In the past we tried to fix it by adding a metal strip in there to limit the amount of play, which worked, just not really well. Since I found a new bushing online, I'll fix it properly this time. After everything was disassembled, I cleaned up the parts I was gonna reuse and laid everything out in preparation for a reassembly. The short shifter I was about to install might look fancy compared to the stock one, however the only thing that's different mechanism wise is that the length of this part, which controls the forward and back movement of the shifter, is a little longer which makes the throws shorter. However, the side to side part stays the same, which means that the side to side movement of the shifter also remains the same. And one other thing, this shifter is metal, it's some sort of stainless steel. At first I thought that was a benefit, but then after did some thinking, I realized that because of that it might wear out the bushing faster. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I started putting everything back together, making sure to apply some grease to moving components. to go into this gap but the problem is it's a little bit too wide a little bit too thick i'm just gonna try and do that and see if it works When all the parts were assembled, I just needed to put on the gator and install the whole assembly in the car. Sadly, things didn't go according to plan. After I put the shifter in the car and tried moving it a little, the lid that holds the bushing in place popped off. The o-ring was just too big, even though I managed to squeeze it in with a screwdriver, after I moved the shifter a bit, the lid couldn't handle it and popped off. I eventually got a smaller o-ring and even though the diameter was a little too big, I managed to squeeze the excess material into the slit for the shifter lever. After that was taken care of, everything else went smoothly. It shifts a lot better now, but there is still some play. The cause now is this pin. Even though I got a new one in the kit, it still has a pretty noticeable amount of play. I also got a metal pin with the shifter, but I'm hesitant to use that as it might wear out the plastic housing even more. I guess I'll just have to make one on a lathe or 3D print it. Overall, the short shifter does its job. Like I said, the side to side movement is the same, but the forward and back is a lot shorter. The gear stick itself is shorter too, which I'm not a fan of, but at least I can solve that with a different shift knob, which I will definitely replace because this metal one makes my hands wet. 
You could also do this by changing the length of the original shifter, but I wanted to be able to easily switch the gear knobs around, so I went with this option. I'll probably improve it in the future, but for now it works just fine. And that will be all. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!